Hi, welcome to day three. And today we're gonna to be talking about the formulas for finding the area and circumference of a circle. So let's dive in. So I like to use this mnemonic device to help me remember what the, these formulas are. So the first one says cherry pie is delicious. This is for circumference. And then apple pies are too. This is for area, so that's C. That's for circumference, and this A in apple is for area. So cherry pie is delicious is going to be C, the circumference, is equal to, the pie is going to stand for pie, and we're going to use 3.14 for pie. And then is delicious, so that's pie times the diameter, D4 diameter. Okay, so there's your formula for the circumference of a circle. And then apple pies are two. So that's gonna be our area formula. So area equals pies, or so I'm just gonna put one pie, pies, R, and this R is going to be this kind of R. We're gonna switch it around. And when it says two, that means we're going to square it. Now, another way to just, or another thing to keep in mind is that a circumference is this distance around the outside of a circle, and that is one dimensional. So there's no squares in there. There's no squaring. The area would be like all of this pie filling surface. That would be the area. So that is in, measured in squares because it's two dimensional. So that's another thing to look at, but cherry pie is delicious. C equals pie D. Apple pies are two. Area equals pi R squared. Now, once again, it doesn't matter if you like cherry pie or apple pie. Um, the thing is, this is just a way to remember how these formulas go. And once you know the formula, then you'll be able to plug in numbers and calculate circumference and area. So let's just remind ourselves that circumference is when we go around, around the outside of the circle. Circumference is a distance. Okay, so those are the things that we're looking for. Um, this would be, some examples would be like walking along a path. That would say you had a circle path. That would be circumference. Now for area, area is the shaded part of a circle. So not the drawing around part, but the part you could shade in the middle. And it's not a distance. It's two dimensional. 2D, we're gonna say. So it's shaded, it's filled in, it's that part in the middle. And if you had a walking path, that would be the circumference and whatever was in the middle would be the um, would be the area. So that could be like, say there's grass in the middle. So grass in the middle of the path. And just, you know, just if we even go back to the pie reminder here, this crust, if we were measuring the distance for the crust on the outside, that's the circumference. And the area would be this surface of the pie. Okay, so that is, these are our formulas for circumference and area of a circle. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.